Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. This is my first time recording using a new microphone. It's not red anymore, it is now blue. So we're gonna see how it goes, but I had to turn down to uh, 30 FPS from 60 FPS, so we're gonna see how that works. But today we're gonna be using an armored troop kind of combination, where we use only armored troops, and we're gonna see how well it goes. Obviously it won't go very well, We'll get some scorchers up in here and we'll get our remaining tanks down. Um, anyway, I've been having some problems recently with my my video settings when I record. So I'm pretty sure it's because my computer couldn't handle it. So I'm trying to turn it down to 60, I mean down to 30 FPS. So we're going to see how that works. Um, and yeah, it kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. But yeah, let's take down the Doom Cannon. Because Doom Cannons versus armored troops is not a good idea. Uh yeah. Okay, we're just gonna shock all these boom cannons. Let our let our tanks do what tanks do best, you know? Which is taking down defenses sometimes. Sometimes they just fail at it. Anyway. Um, Mega Crab coming out next weekend in about four to five days. Four days from when uh, this video is getting launched. So get hyped for that. I honestly can't wait, guys. It's going to be such a blast. But Armored Troop Combination not working very well. <laughs> we got Critters done. Hopefully, that stupid Boom Surprise just needs to go down. There we go. Finally, that's our biggest threat. Also, this rocket launcher. Uh, I'm a little worried if I flare to it. I can't lose that one Raymaker. That's like the only thing keeping us alive right now. Now we can flare to it. Let's get a med kit down. Once it goes down, the rocket launcher, I can adjust a little bit. I'm going to change up the loadout. After this, oh, that was super clutch. I'm going to adjust the loadout after this base because I don't believe I'm going to be able to pull up that dub. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to grab um, four boats of Raymakers. We'll take out the heavies and we'll see how that works. And hopefully that works well. So as soon as this sniper tower goes down, I'm going to flare to the headquarters. Uh, they're not firing on it. Okay. We'll flare to the headquarters now. And the sniper tower might go down into crossfire slash shrapnel damage. Which is what Raymakers are good at. There we go. Look at that damage, guys. Look at that damage. Okay. This could take a while. But only a minute max because that's how long this freaking base is. Um... I would love to drop some artillery and some critters, but if I drop critters now, the flame, okay, now the flame's out. Oh, clutch, that one Rainmaker not focusing on the old flare, but instead taking down the sniper tower. So now we can just drop our critters and have our critters help us out, and we're definitely going to get this dub. We're going to drop the reflare, and we'll for sure get that dub. Nice. Shrapnel damage for the win. Ivan goes down. Good job, Ivan. But you know what? Armored troops, guys. It's the way to go. So let's drop that retrain and get. We'll take out the heavies. Heavies are useless. And we gotta go um, by the name of the troop combination and bring our tanking unit. Because we're doing heavy, heavy ish troops without the heavies. I see how that can be confusing. But, yeah, first couple. We're not going to land the rest of our troops. Just letting our troops roam free. We can get our tank. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just drop that. I guess I'll just drop everything. Because I goofed up a little bit. But, here we go. Let's get bullet activated. I'm a little worried. <laughs> Getting kind of strong. So, as for Make a Crowd next weekend I'm pretty certain I'm gonna do a mega crab stream now it's obviously not gonna be 
like a super super long stream where I'm streaming for the entire mega crowd. We know it's gonna be well we everyone's saying oh man I did not see that. Everyone is saying it's gonna be a fixed amount of attacks. And if it is a fixed amount of attacks, I'm gonna not use all of my attacks, but I'm gonna stream for like an hour or so. Um which should be fun. It will be fun. It'll be a lot of fun actually. Yeah. So we'll stream for like an hour or so. Which is I don't know, 30 stages, like the first uh, 40 attacks or something, and I have no clue how many attacks we're gonna get. We could get 100 attacks, we could get 20 attacks. Bringing more Raymakers is for sure the way to go. And the even better way to go is just to bring all Rainmakers. Seriously guys, all Rainmakers are so strong. It's crazy how overpowered these troops are. That hot pot shot. Can't touch this, guys. Can't touch it. <laughs> this shrapnel is insane. Oh, man. I love this. Okay. Thinking about critter placement, I shouldn't drop critters until all the splash is taken out. But I am tempted because I really want to be done with this space. We're going to go to all Rainmakers after this space. <laughs> after Rainmakers leave, guys, I will be going back to all Riflemen because I really want to do a smoky Riflemen combination. And you guys have been wanting that for a while. So I'll do a video about that. And depending on how it goes, I might do more. My voice is really dead because it's, it's 11 o'clock at night. But it's cool. Okay, it's out all night. Not all night, I was out the first half of night. Cool, Faba, Fabsa, Fabsa goes down. Let's uh, get all Raymakers. <laughs> We're slowly bringing out troops and bringing more troops in and now it's just like, you know what? All Raymakers is the way to go. I knew that last episode. Some people like bring in a couple medics not me, guys. Not about that life. I have Dr. Kavan today instead of... No. I have Dr. Bullet today instead of Dr. Kavan, which I normally have, um, or I did have last time, using Rainmakers. We'll see how much energy this takes. This is taking a lot. Okay. Um, this is like a really good anti-Rainmaker base. <laughs> See how it goes. Hopefully, Bullet doesn't die by the time my Raymakers can take down um, most of these defenses on the beach. I just need to get enough energy to activate him and take down a bunch of these splash damage buildings. Here we go. Let's get him activated. A little worried. I don't think he'll be able to reactivate. There we go. Got it. He's got it, guys. Cool. Uh, should I get him reactivated? Yeah, he's gonna die. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna spend my energy to take down the Shock Blaster. Not drop my last Raymaker. Shock Blaster is way worse because my troops will walk in range and it's just gonna tear apart my troops. Critters, come on. Go clutch. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, shoot. Dang it. <laughs> okay. We lost one by mistake, but this guy has a really good anti-Rainmaker base combination where he has um, all of his buildings on the beach. Shock Blaster, Grappler Hook, then the rocket launchers behind the beach. So, just a really, really strong combination. Loki hurt him. Loki, not even by key gas. Because you know what, this range Rainmakers have, don't even have to worry about hot pots unless it's in the middle of the base or the front of the base. It's by the core, guys. It's not going to do anything. My troops. Cool. Grab that intel, even though I'm not in a task force. Oh, I am in a task force. Never mind. I'm out of it. Okay. We're going to do one more base. 
Um, that's interesting. It's an interesting base design. We'll go for it. A uh, little worried about that. And I don't have enough energy to take it out. Does the guy have ice? He does have ice. Oh, what a sneak. What a sneak. Oh, man. That is super clutch. Bullet hitting shock mines. That's insane. <laughs> That's so clutch. Because then I can take down the grappler without it stealing bullet from me. That was... That was insane. That was some fuck. That was clutch, guys. I feel like I have such a limited vocabulary list when I record videos. It's not, not good. Anyway, as for Christmas time is coming. Not quite in <laughs> four months. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Halloween is the next holiday. Halloween, I hope we get some sort of object to remember Halloween by, kind of like Christmas. It'd be new, but it'd also be really, really cool. They did do something like that. Of that sort. Bring in like a pumpkin. The Clash of Clans pumpkin. <laughs> Add like a cross reference between games and have like, if you have it on this game, you can have this on this game. That'd be crazy. Um, started to lose my voice, so try not to talk as much, but this is what I call a steamroll. Nope, we lost one. Cool. This is what I call an almost steamroll. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, as always. Um, I really hope you guys did, because I know when I wake up tomorrow, I'm not going to remember this. Usually my bedtime is way sooner. <laughs> I mean, that's not true. I usually go to bed around this time. But anyway, I'm, I'm just very tired. Anyway, I, I'll talk to you guys next time. I hope you guys will have an awesome rest of a Sunday and a good start to the week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.